everybody, welcome to another edition of Here Lies. I am your host, Eddie Spaghetti, and today's featured musical artist is Arcade High. Now here's something that every horror fanatic would dream of having as a child. A book aimed at children that covers the horror classics of cinema from the silent era to Hitchcock. Movie Monsters and Their Masters, The Birth of the Horror Film was published in 1980 by Albert Whitman and Company. Notable American children's author Robert Quackenbush provides both the words and illustrations, adding this to his impressive work history of over a hundred books, most of which he had illustrated himself, with the most popular being a series starring a goose called Henry. It's interesting to note that there was a sister book called Who Threw That Pie? The Birth of Movie Comedy, but today we're going to focus solely on this wonderful piece of kinder horror goodness. Spanning over 50 years of horror cinema, we start with the Edison version of Frankenstein from 1910 and move chronologically towards the 60s to end with Hitchcock's The Birds. Each entry includes a one-page short history covering the film's production and legacy, going as far as to mentioning the actors, directors, and special effects artists with the methods they utilized. Quackenbush illustrates full-page drawings taken directly from a scene and colors them in a swamp green tone that looks quite appropriate for the subject matter. He goes as far as to including a smaller portrait of an important figure in the production, ranging from the film star to director and special effects artists. Unincluded signature with each portrait adds to the prestige of just how important the work was that these people did back then, which is still revered to this day. The book also has the distinction of containing dual-page film stills for a few entries. These stills were scanned from the Museum of Modern Art Film Stills archive in New York City. While they are a delight to look at, especially for at the time the book was published, it is Quackenbush's drawings that really catch your eye. The decision to go more so with his work over film stills was definitely the right choice as Quackenbush has a distinct technique of being very detailed, yet in this case, slightly somber. While library and internet searches on film history can be a tad complex or restrictive for kids, Movie Monsters and Their Masters The Birth of the Horror Film is a great substitute for any little monster who wishes to read more on their horrific heroes. Now my copy of this book was purchased at the public library's main branch uh, bookstore where I live. I remember going in there and always looking through all the books and there was this one day that we came across this book uh, and I was just amazed by it. It was just everything that I had loved at that point. The book has this weird quality about it because it actually still smells of this library smell. I can't really explain it. It's almost like it's not even a scratch and sniff smell that you could ever come across. Like you just have to come smell the book. But this is a great book to have as a kid if you're really into monsters. The artwork in it is stunning. The information that was in it as well about all these old movie monsters and stuff like that is, is, is cool. It's, it's unique. It's a little more technical for a kid's book, especially in the sense that it's, you know, it is a movie book, but it's also it's aimed at kids. I mean, I knew about Dr. Caligari and like all those old silent movies, um, even around this point in time when I'm reading the book and I'm only four or five and you know, I haven't even shit in a real toilet yet. So you're trying to find a copy of the book, uh, obviously check used bookstores. Uh, you're not gonna find a brand new version of it um, because it hasn't been in print since a long time now. Uh, but if you're going to go for a cheap used copy, you're looking at anywhere between, it could be even 99 cents to $20. It all depends on where you get it from. And if you get it online, you're gonna have to pay shipping as well. So add it to that total. Uh, Eddie, there's a delusional woman downstairs prancing around who reads of kerosene and Avon. Hi, Aunt Dolores. No, no. Oh, Jeremy, darling! Mwah, mwah, mwah. How are you, darling? It's Eddie. Oh, whatever. 
Oh, I also brought you something. A new movie that you can review for your show. Fried green tomatoes. Oh, it's my favorite. Starring the wonderful Jessica Ten. This one's a keeper. Mm-hmm. I hope you like it. Hey, have you uh, have you met my roommate Herb? Oh, of course, the pharmacist. Can I have my prescription now? Um. So, so what brings you here, Aunt Dolores? Oh, it's dreadful news, darling. Just dreadful. Rupert is trying to put up the Christmas tree, but he can't seem to find a big enough kitchen knife to cut one down. Isn't it a little early for that kind of thing? Uh, well, there might be a saw downstairs, actually, in the basement I could grab for you. Eddie, I'm going to go check my laboratory. Okay. Oh, I guess I'll see what's in here. Oh, hey, Mr. B. Sorry, I'll leave you alone. Give me one moment. No, oh, Eddie, I can explain. Um, this is for a course I'm doing at the uh, university where we have prosthetic corpses. Yes, uh, to work on at home for experiments. Yeah. That's, uh, what's uh, with the a tomato juice, of course, for stimuli simulation. Yes, I just can't seem to get the saw out. Um, yeah, let me give it a whirl. I'll check on your yeah. dear aunt upstairs. Yeah, you go deal with that, I'll, I'll deal with this. Come on. Oh, I love you, my, my dear old 20. I give the work. Oh, doctor! Do you have my prescription ready? I need, let's see, benzodiazepine. I need Valium. God, Eddie? you're so cute. I need, um, Eddie? vitamin D. <laughs> uh, God! Oh! Here you go. Oh, I uh, thank you, Milton Burl. <laughs> hey, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed what you just watched. Make sure to subscribe to us so you can see more of this shit as it comes out. And also make sure to check us out on Facebook and like us there, too. And, and look at our Instagram account as well and our Twitter accounts because we post all kinds of insane cool shit on there. And if you love what you just watched, you're going to love that. Trust me. You can trust me. I think. Yeah, you can trust me.